Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. When you download software from the internet, a lot of times it comes in the format of an ISO image. And an ISO image is just an image of a physical CD or DVD ROM. For example, let's say I'm downloading uh, Windows 2003 from Microsoft's website. A lot of times I can download that ISO image and then I can either burn that ISO to a physical CD or DVD and then insert that physical CD or DVD into my computer or I can mount that ISO image to let's say a virtual machine. When I mount that ISO image it's as though I actually put the physical CD or DVD into that virtual machine but I don't actually have to deal with the physical CD or DVD. And a lot of times you get better performance because it's reading from disk as opposed to reading from the physical CD or DVD. If we're unable to download an ISO image of a particular installer we want to use, but we have the physical CD or DVD, we can actually create an ISO image from that CD or DVD. To do that, we can use a number of programs in this example, I'm going to use two different programs here, one called LC ISO Creator and another one called IMG Burn. LC ISO Creator is very, very simple and easy to use. IMG Burn is also very simple and e easy to use, but it gives us a few more options. Both of these are free. To download them, all we need to do is go to Google and type in download, let's say IMG Burn, hit enter, and download it from the website. Same with LC ISO Creator. So first let's take a look at LC ISO Creator. I'm just going to double click on it. And this is actually just an executable. It's not even an installer. IMG Burn is an installer as we'll see in a second. I'll just double click on it, click run, and here it is. Very, very simple. The D drive in, on this particular machine is my DVD-ROM drive. We can actually take a look at it. And I've inserted a CD into it. It's actually the Microsoft Virtual uh, server 2005 CD and let's say I want to make an ISO image out of that CD. All I do is click on create ISO. Very simple. And then I tell it where to save the ISO file. I'll just save it to my desktop and I can call it whatever I'd like. Uh, I'll call it Microsoft VS 2005. Click save and it's going to go ahead and create it. Now the larger the CD or DVD, the longer it's going to take to create it. And that's it. So pretty easy. Uh, let's go take a look at it here at the desktop. And there it is. So now we can actually copy this file over to our ESX server as we saw in a previous movie. And then in a later movie we'll see exactly how to mount it to a virtual machine. Now let's use IMG Burn. Just going to double click on the installer here. I've got in this folder. Click Run. Click Next. And I can select my various options for shortcuts. Click Next. I can select where I want to install it to. Click Next. And Install. It's asking me if I want to period periodically check if there's a newer version available. I'll just select No. And I can leave this checked and go ahead and run it. You can see we have a few more options here. With IMG Burn, we can actually write an image file to disk. So that's basically taking an ISO and burning it to a CD or DVD. We can create an image file from a disk. This is actually what we want to do here. We can verify a disk. We can also write files or folders to a disk or create an image file from files or folders. We can also do discovery where, where we actually examine an ISO image. So we have a lot, a lot of other options here. So it's a much more powerful tool. I'm going to create an image file from disk. Up here you can see the drive it's selected. It's my D drive once again. It's my DVD drive. And down here I can select where I want to save the ISO to. It gives it a name. And I'm actually going to go ahead and save it to my desktop also. So we can just take a look at it. Click Save, and click the Burn button. So this will go pretty fast. There it is. It's completed. And I'll click OK. Now let's go take a look at it. Let's go over to our desktop. 
And here it is. There's our other ISO. So uh, now we've got two of them. They're the same ISO. And again, just copy them over to ESX, and then we can mount them.